In this video, I'll show you how I installed a Fiamma Carry Bike XL bike rack on our Jayco Swan camper trailer. I'll also review its pros and cons and answer the question, how does having bikes in the draw bar impact towing? So let's get started. It came with nearly everything needed for its installation and use. It had the bike rack itself, the brackets to attach it to the draw bar, with some adjustment knobs and all the required nuts and bolts. Now, although it did come with some pull tie down straps, it was only after the installation was finished, I realized that these were way too short to secure the bikes. So you'll need something like these grunt one meter pull tie down straps. I got these from Bunnings for about $5.70 for the pair. It was pretty simple to install and didn't need many specialized tools. The tools I used for installing the bike rack were a drill, with a six millimeter bit, a driver with a standard number two Phillips head bit, a tape measure, a socket driver with extension, and eight millimeter and 10 millimeter sockets. We had a jerry can holder on the front of our Jayco Swan, which we hardly used and were happy to sacrifice. We also had a bolt on flip up jockey wheel, which we also had to take off. So to remove these, we also used a 13 millimeter open-ended spanner and a 13mm socket for the jerry can holder and a 15mm and 17mm spanner for the jockey wheel. One of the key considerations for this type of bike rack is what else do you have on the draw bar? For us it was a case of first removing the jerry can holder. This was just a matter of just using a spanner and socket to undo four bolts. Then it just lifted straight out. We also had to use a socket to undo the tech screws that were holding in the drawbar tap just so we could relocate it slightly. And to remove the bolt on jockey wheel, I just used the two spanners. The Fiamma Carry Bike XL is quite simple to assemble and only takes a few minutes. It consists of joining the uprights, bolting them together, popping on this handy little anti scratch cover. Clipping on the two-pieced bevel adjustment brackets on both uprights and base and then inserting a couple of bolts to join the base to the uprights and winding on the adjustment knobs to hold it all together. ready for installation. In terms of confirming the correct location and fit, first it was a case of making sure the bike rack was centered. This was a simple case of using the tape measure to make sure it protruded evenly from the internal edge of the A-frame. So that it didn't impact with the tow vehicle's turning circle, it was important to make sure the rack was as far back as it could go, but without impacting on the boot operation or the insertion of the bed support poles for our Jayco Swan. Perfect. Next there was a case of fixing the bike rack to the A-frame. The good news is that fixing the Fiamma Carry Bike XL doesn't require any drilling or welding into the A-frame. This was simply a case of placing the brackets on top of the base tube, pushing the U-bolts up from underneath, screwing on the nuts with the socket, drilling a pilot hole through the brackets into the tube and then driving the tech screws into the base tube. And that completes the installation of the Fiamma Carry Bike XL. Easy. Now, one thing I didn't actually include in this video is that we did need to shorten the handle of our jockey wheel bracket. This was an extended one that someone had added to the original, so we had to trim it back a little bit to clear the bike rack. When it comes to using the Fiamma Carry Bike XL, winding out the adjustment knob makes it easy to move the upright back and forth and it's pretty firm once done up. These wheel straps slide back and forth to adjust for different bike lengths, 
So when it comes to fitting a bike onto the Fiatma, this is a much easier option than lifting bikes up onto the roof, either of the roof of the camper or our car. Preparation involves firstly undoing the adjustment knobs, which allows the upright to move forwards and out of the way, and undoing the wheel straps and then folding them out of the way. This means you can easily wheel the bike up into the channel and then fold the upright back and do up the adjustment knobs. A key point to note here is that I take the pedals off the bike so it won't scratch the caravan. Once the bike's on, there's a couple of foam pads that can be moved to stop the bike from getting scratched. The bike needs to be fastened to the upright using a pull tie down strap and here's a common complaint. The pull tie down straps that come with the Fiamma Carry Bike XL aren't long enough to go around the upright and the bike frame, no matter how many ways you try. Now you could use both the pull down tyres that came with the bike rack to do one bike, but either way it means a trip to the hardware store to get more if you're planning on carrying two bikes, and that's what we needed. Once the bike is attached to the upright of the bike rack, then it's time to strap in the wheels. And that's not going anywhere. And here's an example of showing how the wheel straps can be adjusted if you've got bikes of different sizes. When it comes to using the Fiamma Carry Bike XL, here's how it looks when it's on a Jayco Swan. That's the short drawbar version with two bikes on it and attached to a Mitsubishi Pajero. The type that has a spare wheel mounted on the tailgate. The bikes are far enough back so as to not interrupt the tailgate operation too much. We could still easily get in and out of the boot. The Hulk approves. And how does it affect driving and turning circle? Even when there's two bikes on the drawbar, I could drive normally. There was no impact on cornering. And even at full lock when reversing, the bikes weren't even close to touching the car. So in summary, the Fiamma Carry Bike XL was a perfect addition for our camping setup. It was reasonably priced, easy to install, and it didn't have any impact on driving performance. If you found this useful, don't forget to subscribe for more Jayco Camper Trailer hints, tips, mods, and DIY repairs.